Good afternoon. Good afternoon. There we go. See, that's how you know that those of us that trained in academia. <laughs> uh, it is awesome to see so many of you here. Uh, it, it is really, really outstanding. Uh, it, it, you guys are just awesome. Uh, you know, it's always really interesting when uh, you get to come up here and you get introduced like that. That's, it's a super gracious uh, way of being introduced. But what I think is, uh, I want to start with is tell you how, what my first year of high school looked like. So Saturday will be, we won't say how many years, uh, it will be the anniversary of when I was suspended from high school. Uh, it is, it follows one month ago, when uh, that time, when I was also kicked out of my math class, and two months before that when I was first time read my rights. My academic career was off to a stellar start, <laughs> where I proceeded to pretty much fail the rest of my math classes. Uh, so what do you do when you fail all your math classes? And this is some of the things that's really fantastic about our system, is we're phenomenal at giving ourselves second chances. So I went to community college. I went to De Anza Junior Co uh, College in, in uh, the Bay Area. Amazing, how many community college people we have out there? <laughs> Absolutely. Because I was definitely not ready. So I did the most important thing anybody can do when they're picking their classes. I enrolled in the same classes as my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, it shows you my thinking in life. <laughs> and lucky for me, she took a calculus class. And so I got in there, I was like, why do they put the DX at the end of every sentence? <laughs> Sometimes it's DY, but I'm really confused about this. And there's like these squiggly S's that aren't quite S's. <laughs> And it was an astonishing moment. I was like, everyone else understands this. I'm the only person that doesn't understand this. How could this be? So I went home and I had that moment where I had to pick, which I know many of you have had to deal with, where there's a moment in time where you have to decide who and what you're gonna be. What are you gonna do? I realized I was a stupid person. I was a stupid one in the class. So I went, I cried. I mean, I cried. We've all been there. We cry, but the question is, once you cry, what do you do? You get to cry, everyone gets a chance to cry. You get to cry for 15 minutes, then you decide what you to do in life. <laughs> so I went to the library and I checked out every math book I could. And then I started studying them as fast as I could. And then it took like a two weeks and I was caught up and I thought, oh my gosh, I suffered for four years because of that? <laughs> so finally I got to transfer to US UCSD. And absolutely, thank you, sissy. And uh, from there, my career took off in mathematics. I was able to just study, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. And in that process, I eventually got my doctorate in mathematics. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it... To which that girlfriend doesn't fail to remind me that uh, at no joke, at one of uh, times when we were studying uh, the math, she said, you know, you're spending a lot of time on this math homework, and my response was, it's not like I'm gonna become a math major or anything. <laughs> Just goes to show. But here's the thing that I wanna tell you. All of you are facing somebody who's gonna tell you no. All of you, more than anybody else in this country, in anywhere in the sciences, knows how to fight for yes. Because you guys do that every day, day in, day out. You guys fight for yes. In fact, more so than anything, you teach the rest of us how to fight for yes, because you figure it out. And that's one of the most important things that I can just emphasize that you already know what to do, which is in this place, in this time, especially when you're so focused on collaboration here. Collaboration is what makes this work. We have a saying in data science because we just invented the term, so we get to say whatever we want about the, the sayings. <laughs> is we, cut, we say it's a, it's a team sport. It's a true team sport because no one person can do it. And many of you already know this. In science, you can't figure this out on your own. There's no way. 
In fact, that's one of the most powerful things that you can have and create now at this moment in time. If you look to your left, you look to your right, you look across from you, you have created your social network for your career. This is where your social network starts. If you continue to stay in touch with each other, you share your experiences, you share what you learn, you share your failures, you share what you learn from them, you will be unstoppable. There is no force in this world that can stop a network effects that you can create. And when you do that collectively, you will be in a powerful, powerful position. So what do you do with that when you happen? Because you are gonna fail. One of the things people always talk about is this amazing stuff of all the things that we've been able to do. People often forget that I had one of the biggest startup failures that's been known. We might have blown about $41 million, maybe. <laughs> and you, we failed, but the question is what do you do when you fail? And so one of the things I wanna emphasize that you do when you're going through these events, you go through all these things together, take some time Take some time to turn your experience here into wisdom. Figure out what does it take that you need to learn from each other and what do you take and how do you embody that in your life. That's one of the most powerful things. We often say in these startup companies that the most important thing that you recognize when you start doing a startup is it's the same thing as jumping off a cliff and having to build a plane on the way down. And there's only one way to do that. Two important lessons in there. Number one, clever always beats smart. Clever always beats smart, nine times out of 10. Because clever is how you figure out what you need to build, what you need to do, what you need to study, what the problem actually is. Smart is what you do when you need to scale it and get to the right answer. And you combine that when you surround yourself with people who have experience, and what's more is greater than experience, is the wisdom. When you surround yourself with those with wisdom, you will always be able to figure it out. You will always strive to a better world and be able to do a lot more. And one of the things that's most important that we, can, we need you, this country needs you for multiple reasons. One, science is under attack. Yet, we know that the greatest achievements and greatest benefits for our kids and our kids' kids is going to come from the discoveries and all of the things that you help us figure out today and we are able to implement together. That's what's gonna drive this country forward. That's what keeps us great. That happens only through multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary research, collaboration with the public and private sectors, and all of us being fundamentally passionate about what's, what do we do and what are we going to build next. We get that right, we'll be just fine. But again, that's only gonna happen if all of you fight for yes. In this space, in this career, often people take an excuse of saying the door is closed to you. The door is never closed. You just have to figure out what other door there is because there's so many amazing rooms. Together, you'll figure out how to open any locked door. You will always come out on the right side of this. And so with that, what I think I'd leave you with is continue to be amazing. Continue to figure out how to keep each other amazing. And just be awesome and have a great time here. Thank you.